want to go through EuroCAD. Uh, so let's do some analysis on EuroCAD. Just taking that bigger picture view. So we're doing a daily time frame analysis. Uh, but what I like to do is actually zoom out. I'll zoom out and see as much price action as I can just to see uh, the overall trend direction. So the bigger picture view, as well as are there any key levels? Uh, so this is where I'd maybe apply uh, a key level, uh, for example, uh, sort of this 160 handle. Uh, seems to be respected a number of times has previously been respected uh, that's back way in 2010 and recently uh, been respected if I just move this down in 2016 and now we're seeing 2018 uh, again respected we did have a slight false break above uh, but back below uh, that level now so now if I just zoom back in do I have a trend line in place also? Could I apply a trend line in place? So looking at the lowest low from this point, so I'll be looking at this point, this region here, uh, and I may apply a trend line also. So uh, even though we've we've hit a strong resistance level, uh, but we also may be able to apply a trend line such as this. Yep. So I would uh, definitely fit my trend line to incorporate uh, all of price action. Uh, sometimes, most of the time, my trend lines are placed to, to the extremes. That's including the highs and the lows, so the wicks, not just the close of the candle. But in some cases, if I have uh, a three touch and I can see this as a potential false breakout, I'm more than happy to do that as well. Um, so, okay, so we have a, an uptrend line taking place. We do have sort of a high. Um, that's your higher low and that new high then that's your higher low and now we have an equal high taking place at this point over here so a lot of hesitation around the 160 handle um, okay so zooming in now I'm going to analyze from where I see the most recent uh, trend beginning or the previous trend start uh, finishing uh, and that's where I start to look at the market condition the health of the market um, so now we're sort of analyzing from um, 2nd of March maybe sort of March period um, yep so 2nd of March but sort of this downtrend is what I'm interested in um, so looking at price action is what I'm gonna do at this point here okay so if I just bring this down a little bit okay so uh, let me just use a tool here so okay so all the way through we've seen a series of higher highs and higher lows uh, reaching up to sort of the 120 uh, 160 handle uh, so sort of there's a high a false break up and then a break lower so I'll start from sort of you've got that high you've got this low this goes on to make almost an equal high to be fair just a slight false break above so almost a double top formation maybe uh, but uh, this low, the most recent low, just stops at, at this point over here. So still, even though we have an equal high, we still have a higher low. But then we go into actually form a uh, lower high. So that's your uh, lower high. And then we have the break through this previous low. And this previous low is quite important. That's the level we've seen um, uh, the breakthrough. So we've had the breakthrough uh, this level here. You can see how price action came back to retest this handle in this region here. Uh, went down to this low, another retest back to this region. Didn't really respect that previous low, this previous resistance level, but it's respected a round number. So another 157 handle there, respected. And then we have the continuation move to the downside. And that's a very strong sell off. So all the way through, very, uh, there's no green bullish candles um, so all the way through it's just bearish until you get to this area you start to see a bit of a pullback taking place so a very small pullback and you get to this area another small pullback and then hesitation takes place in this region here so you can see how the momentum starts to weaken as we continue to these lower prices but have a look at your RSI indicator as well so we see the RSI um, so you can see at the beginning of this trend so if you start from sort of this stage here you have that nice downward move uh, breaks through this 50 handle 50 handle seen as quite an important level it's your balance line so it breaks through the 50 uh, does a retest and then continues to break lower and now in this region here is where we are in the over uh, sold so, so we're extremely oversold possibly some divergence taking place where we have these equal lows uh, in this region here we have 
higher lows being formed as well. So that's our first indication of a potential uh, retracement taking place, not just a pullback where we've had pullbacks in this region, pullbacks in this region. Now this is where we're looking for a larger retracement before we have the continuation. The overview is, yes, this is a long-term downtrend. So, yeah, so overview is we have a long-term downtrend. But what I'm looking to do is where can I get in at the highest price? I'm not looking to uh, sell into uh, sell at the lowest price. I want to sell at the highest price. So yes, we're looking for this retracement, waiting for some rejection to take place, and then to get in line with this longer-term downtrend. Right. So um, this is where I, once I've marked those lower lows and lower highs all the way through, I can also apply uh, a downtrend line. So place your downtrend line and try to incorporate all of price action. And this is what we have in place. Yep. So uh, we've got a number of touches through. So we've got from this high to the next touch and to this touch, we've got three touches and we potentially have our fourth touch in this region. We may see a more aggressive of a uh, um, retracement so we may see a false breakout do remember this trend this trend is there as in some cases it can be seen as resistance in this case so uh, you can see it's uh, from this high so that's our resistance that's our resistance so we're looking for another uh, area to show us that it's going to uh, continue that resistance but generally it's there to, to show me the gradient of the trend so it's telling me that the gradient of the trend is in this uh, this is the momentum of that trend. Um, we could have a larger pullback taking place, um, but yes, uh, for now it's certainly being respected at the moment. Uh, what I could apply is also a Fibonacci. So when you're looking for Fibonacci's, guys, look to places from where you see the significant pull uh, retracements taking place rather than just a pullback. So I'm not looking to just see how far this pullback by or this pullback by. This is where I see a larger pullback taking place. So the Fibonacci will be applied from the high to the low. So taking it from uh, the high to the low, so from that point down to this low where you see an uh, almost 38.2 retracement in that region there. Uh, and then I'll take it from the next high down to the most recent low. And yes, we're, we are also testing this 38.2% retracement. So if we start to see more rejection and a break lower, this could be a very great, uh, a good signal of a, a continuation move to the downside. But if we do see a larger move, so if we see not just a, uh, so this retracement is just a retracement of this move. Yep. But overall, it's done a larger move, which is this. Therefore, the retracement can be of this entire move where we could see a larger move taking place. So therefore, if I'm looking for a larger move to take place and it breaks through this trend line, I will take the Fibonacci from the highest high to the lowest low to show me how far uh, could that pullback take place. Um, so then I would apply a Fibonacci from the highest high down to the lowest low. And that gives me my... Ooh, just trying to get that precise right so that gives me this zone here so if I now just use um, this here so now this is my cell zone so this is my cell zone I'm not looking for price to uh, realistically uh, I'm still looking for a short up to this point over here so this 61.8 percent uh, of this move is up to this region here. So if we do go into break through these levels here, that's where I could say, okay, yeah, we're more than likely to continue a longer term uptrend um, uh, and possibly retest back to the 160 or even back to these previous highs and even further potentially. Uh, but this will be for now my sell zone. Uh, but on the shorter term, I would apply that secondary uh, secondary Fibonacci or this uh, most recent move, which is that move there. And now, oh, so let's just adjust that. Right, so ideally what I'm looking for is rejection at this level for that continuation of this move that's taken place so far. But if we start to see that there's um, a, uh, a break of this trend line, then we can look for a larger retracement back to this sell zone and look for a selling opportunity there. But in addition to that, you could also take the trade, the break of this trend line, break of the trend line, up to one of these key levels. Yep. So you could take the trade back up to the 50%. 50%. Generally, I'll be looking for back up to the 61.8, where we have this previous high as well. So we have this as your 
resistance line and also the 157 handle so you've got three reasons of the confirmation so that's the way trading goes so uh, the benefit of technical analysis is that you can identify multiple trading uh, opportunities uh, uh, on the same asset to go long and to go short